Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to talk about sump basins and what's the best sump basin to use in your outdoor system or your crawl space or your basement. We're also going to touch on some catch basins and different sizes and how they work in your French drain and why we recommend that you install these at the same time as you install your French drain. So let's get started. Okay, catch basins. Let's just touch on that really quick because we're going to go over that. We're actually going to install a small French drain. It's going to come over here to the sump basin. You can see I've already got it set up and it's going to lift it up. It's just going to pump it out to a natural area out back there. But let's start with this little six by six. These are called six by six speed basins. They, they don't come with the lid. You got to buy the grate. So they're about 15 bucks. This is about 10 or $12 and this is between four and $6. So about 15 bucks and it's really a great little basin to pick up that low spot in your yard as water comes across the ground it drops into the basin and is carried away. Most floods in people's backyards are actually surface water and not the underground water that the French drain is designed to pick up. Then we've got a 9x9. Nine nine. These are all made by NDS and great. These are so easy to snap together. This one's just a little bit bigger of a basin. That means it can hold a little bit more water. The debris as it drops in there stays down in the bottom and the water's carried away. Then we have a 12 by 12 and you can see the difference. It's a lot bigger um, and again, it just holds more water and debris at the bottom, allowing more debris to be cap captured and that's really about the only difference. These outlet sizes, I've showed you that video before, they're exactly the same. The outlet is only three and a half inch. And when we put these adapters on here, and when we put these adapters on here, it's all going to be three and a half inch discharge. It's exactly the same. Okay, sump basins. These are truly the best basins for the DIY or the contractor. Whether you're putting this outside like this, or whether you're putting it down in a crawl space or a basement, these are really the best basins available. And they're everywhere. They're in Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, Ace. All of these stores carry these things, and they're all about the same price. This is an ADS basin. You see the lid says ADS on it. And this is my favorite basin, by the way. I think this one is by far the easiest to use and probably works the best. It's got all kinds of knockouts around it. It's got a nipple that can be cut off. It's almost preset. Almost every drain that you put in is going to come into this port right here and for whatever reason NDS figured that out but really what it is is a French drain for example in the backyard is going to be anywhere from 14 to 20 inches deep and by the time you put gravel down in the bottom and yes you need to put gravel down in the bottom of that trench for it to work properly by the time you put that gravel down there it's going to that bottom of that pipe is going to come in right here and it's perfect almost, almost every time but it has knockouts that you could cut with a four inch hole saw. All, I mean, you can come way down here to the bottom. And this is the lowest that you can come, by the way, is right here in this basin with the M98, the Zoller M98. So that's the ADS basin. And again, it, it is truly the, by far the best basin. It's, it's all ribbed, it doesn't collapse. It's perfect for the outdoor or for the indoor sump basin. This one's called a jackal, and this is a little bit more solid, but the reason it's more solid is because it comes with a lid. I've already, this is a used lid, but I've already cut these out for different things, but you can actually lock this down, and it comes with, the lid comes with grommets, so that you can set this on there. It comes with screws, you lock it in place, and it becomes radon tight. So a really great one for your basement, if you're concerned about radon, um, and you wanna put a radon pump down in here also, this is perfect for that. So two great basins that blow the others away. I mean, there's nothing that comes close to this. And I'm going to dig a trench here, put a French drain in and show you why these basins work better than anybody else's. Okay, let's dig a trench. You know, if you've watched any of my videos, I really do give you so much information and tips on how to install these systems. And the first tip is when you're digging your trench, Lay out your plastic so you can set your sod on one side and dirt on the other side. We're not going to worry about sod here. Always dig backwards. And set your dirt right there on the tarp so that you're easily able to put that back. 
But the real tip here is, if you're gonna try to use one of these kind of shovels, you're gonna be hurting hurt really bad. <laughs> this is not the shovel to use to dig a trench. It's too small, you can see how far I'm bending over. And by the end of a trench, by the end of about 20 minutes, your back's gonna hurt pretty bad. This is not the shovel to use to dig a trench. So, back to a good sharp shovel. These are Razorbacks and that's my favorite shovel. I get these at Home Depot. We're just gonna dig a little trench here. Dig it back. Remember to dig backwards. Very important. And the reason why is that after you dig down your first pass, we're gonna come back and push that shovel with our body weight and clean it out. And it's going to be at the perfect depth for almost every drain line. Real simple. You can see how quickly I'm digging this trench and it's gonna be perfect. Use your body weight, push it forwards, and then just lift that dirt right out of there. I'll bring the camera over here in just a second so you can see it. Go right up to your discharge. In this case, it is our sump pump is a discharge. So let me bring the camera over here, take a look at this trench. Okay, take a look at that trench. That was two passes. First pass was to dig down. Second pass is to use your body weight and clean to the bottom of the trench. And we are at the perfect level. We are about two inches below the inlet of the sump basin. This is perfect. We're going to install a small French drain. Let me show you how well that works. Okay, fabric wrapped French drains. This fabric is called Stay Green. And this is the best fabric that I've actually found that you don't need to order and spend thousands of dollars for something that is being called punched. And you know, this stuff works great. I've got a couple of videos showing you how fast it works and I have had no problems with it at all. It's very strong. It's made from recycled bottle caps and it works really good. But anyways, so what you do is lay out your fabric. There's your trench, lay out your fabric down the trench, cover that whole trench up, and then you push it down to the bottom, and just keep that off to the sides. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a base of gravel down here. And I'm just gonna use gravel by the bag. You know, for the DIYer, it's the best there is. If you've got a truck or a trailer, great. But if you don't, gravel by the bag works really good. So this is just drainage stone and just rip it open and we're going to put a base of gravel down here in the bottom of the trench. You don't need much, two inches is more than enough. We're just going to spread that out all the way through our perforated pipe section. I'm just doing a small drain to show you, but you got the picture. <laughs> so again, if you're going to use perforated pipe that has holes in it, remember the holes must point down into the gravel because the way this system works is water floods up. This system is designed to grab underground water, subsurface water. It's not made to catch water from the top. So this actually floods up into the holes of the pipe and the pipe carries it away. So we stick it into our basin, and back here, we're actually gonna put a catch basin. Remember I said that catch basins are very important, and they allow the surface water to drop into that system. This is perfect, this little six by six. It'll go right here into our low spot, just perfectly. Okay, once you have a base of gravel laid under your pipe, now you're going to cover that pipe completely with gravel. You need to use as much gravel as you need to use. Then you cut and trim your fabric. Go ahead and fold it over, pin it, and then you backfill. Once you've backfilled, 
you're ready to go ahead and let the rain come down. Okay, really quick, a lot of people ask, you know, what if this line's deeper than this particular basin? Well, I've showed you that you can buy this insert and you can cut this off to any level you want to extend that catch basin to any height that you want. And it's going to work exactly the same. So that's just a real quick tip there. But what I want to do, if I can get it out of here, <laughs> is go ahead and just pour. I've got some water in that basin. I've got some water in that basin. GoPro set up. I'm going to flood this area here. And you can see how this system works. And you're also going to see how well that sump basin works and why it's the best one on the market. Okay, as I flood this area, what you're going to see is water flooding this area out here. And the water's going to come into the basin, drop down. The sump pump's going to lift it up and send it out. But what you'll notice is that the water in the trench is going to be at this level. And it's perfect. In other words, there's no water left in that trench at all. It's kind of redundant because if we've got a pipe at this level and we've got groundwater that's at this level, no matter what you do, there's still water underneath of your trench. It really doesn't matter. As, and then as it rains, groundwater rises higher and higher, enters that gravel into your perforated pipe and is carried away. Notice that the water is going into the catch basin. It's not going into there. It's going into the catch basin. This is surface water. Now it's going down and into the gravel because I actually kind of eroded it right there. But catch basin is so important. You got to have them on your system. And you can see it traps all the debris. No debris gets down in there. And any debris that does, you reach inside. And there's nothing in there, but you reach inside and clean it out catch basins on your French drains very very important okay just okay just for fun let's open this French drain up let me pull this back there's our gravel and our fabric you can see this is dry as a bone no water comes down from the top into your French drain. It's virtually impossible. But let me dig some more of this out. I'm just gonna destroy it to show you. Can you see that? That's dry as a bone. <laughs> no water lays in the trench or in the gravel after this drains out into the sump basin. This all drains out into the basin and is carried away. Gravel is a must underneath of your pipe. But by far, these two basins that I just showed you, they are the best on the market for DIY or contractor. They're easy to install and they work great. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.